Hello students, this is Mr. Boyd. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at solutions to equations. So you should have a copy of these, this note page on your desk. If you don't, please make sure you get one. If you're absent, then just go ahead and take notes on notebook paper. So first of all, of course, we want to put our name, date, and period on our paper. And then let's jump right into the vocabulary. So an equation is a mathematical sentence with an equal sign. That should make sense to you guys. The first part of this word equation is equate. Equate, equal means the same thing. On the other hand, an expression, an expression doesn't have an equal sign. It's just made up, uh, it's a mathematical phrase instead of a sentence that uses variables, operations, and numbers. So let's look down at the bottom here. We're instructed to circle the following that are equations and underline the expressions. So the first one I notice has an equal sign in it, therefore this is an equation. x plus 7 equals 37. So this must also be an equation. I'm going to circle that one. 2x plus 3. No equal sign. This is what we call an expression. 4x minus 7 plus 5x. No equal sign. That's what we call a mathematical expression. a plus negative 3 equals 2a plus 5. See that equal sign right there? So this is going to be an equation. 1 half x plus 5 equals 3 fourths x minus 3. Got that equal sign right there? Therefore, this is an equation. So our next vocabulary term. A blank of an equation is, the, is a value for a blank that makes an equation blank. Okay, so a solution, this is huge today, because in today's lesson, we're going to take a look at what solutions are and what numbers are solutions of equations. So a solution of an equation is a value for a variable, or could be variables. There may be more than one variable in the equation that makes an equation true. So does the number make the equation true when you put it in for the variable. If you substitute for a variable, substitute a number for a variable, and it makes the equation true, then it's considered to be a solution of the equation. And actually, that's how you check to see if a number is a solution. So let's look at some examples here. Notice I've got nine examples. Wow, that seems like a lot. So what I want to do to check this is I'm going to replace the variable x with the number they've given me, because they're saying x is three is 30. Okay, and then I'm going to ask myself, is 170 plus 30 200? Well, it is. So since 200 equals 200, this is a true statement, therefore, this is a solution, so I would circle it. How about the next one? 3 equals 12 minus 6. Let's see, 3 equals 12 minus 6 is 3. Therefore, this is a true statement. So A does, in fact, equal 6. How about number 6? 6 times 6, if I replace the x with 6, equals 12. Well, 6 times 6 is actually 36, and that does not equal 12. Therefore, no, that is not the solution. All right, I'm going to let you guys try these three here. You're going to pause the video and answer the questions that pop up on the video. Okay, guys, I'm back with you. Let's take a look at number seven and eight. All right, so number seven, I'm going to replace the X with 12 everywhere there's an X.
let's see, 12 plus 7 would give me 19. 2 times 12 is 24 minus 5. Well, let me go ahead and finish simplifying this. 24 minus 5 is 19. And since 19 does, in fact, equal 19, x equals 12 is the solution. All right, how about the next one? Let's see, I'm going to replace x with 20. 20 divided by 4 plus 3. Now, don't forget, a fraction bar means division. We don't use the old division symbol. Equals 8. So let's see, 20 divided by 4 would be 5 plus 3 equals 8. And that, in fact, checks out is a true statement. Therefore, we can circle x equals 20. Okay, next I'd like for you guys to pause the video and try number nine. Okay, guys, I'm back with you. So, as a summary, I would like for you to answer the question, how do you check to see if a number is a solution to an equation? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps you out with finding solutions to equations.